Hey guys, how's it going? Shez back again with episode number 28 of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. We're making some final budget adjustments because we could be making an exciting signing today. As you can see, we're putting in an offer for Julian Draxler. Schalke say they want £21 million for the youngster. We're going to offer them 12 to start off with, see what they think of that. It's a bit low, but hopefully that will lower their uh, their initial targets because we've, uh, we've brought in extra money for Ricardo Montalivo and Abu Dhabi. And that's freed up the cash to bring in not only a centre-back, but another player as well. Well, and we haven't really looked at anyone in that cam roll all, uh, all transfer window long, to be completely honest. We've been quite happy with Honda sat there and uh, having the potential to play Lacazette there or Giovanni Dos Santos or me, maybe even Pedro if worst come to worst. So I wasn't looking for a player in this uh, in this particular position at all. But then it just struck me. We've got quite a bit of money. Julian Traxler would be such an exciting signing if we can bring him in. But I decided to ha give it an absolute whack and see if we can bring him in. But uh, £40 million pounds is the offer we've gone in with for the second time. But to free up some extra funds, sent Senad Lulic out on loan rather than selling him outright. As you can see, the wage budget has jumped up there. We got an extra 80k or something to, uh, to try and bring Senad or try and send Senad Lulic out to try and free up the funds to bring in um, Julian Drax. So we're actually going to reject that offer for Figara as well, just in case he does get used as a make way in a potential deal for a centre back. Pashalka accepted the £14 million offer for Julian Draxler. That just absolutely dumbfounded me. I never thought I'd get him for that cheap. We're also bringing in Martin Caceres for £8.3 million from Juventus, which means we can reject the offer for Mykon from Porto as he is no longer required. Julian Draxler accepted the contract offer. Julian Draxler, one of the best young prospects in world football right now, is going to join AC Milan for £14 million. Absolutely fantastic. That is such an exciting prospect. Very, very pleased and very much so looking forward to getting him into the first team picture and hopefully trying to get him to uh, as high rating as we possibly can by the end of this second season. We're going to use the extra tiny little bit of money we got left over to hopefully replace Didac or Didac with uh, with Marcel Janssen. Now, well, Janssen is 28 years old, but he's a very, very good left back and I very much do enjoy playing with him. So hopefully uh, I can bring him in for just £4 million. It's a bargain of a player, bargain price, and he'll just do absolute wonders as a rotation left back along with uh, along with Kevin Constant of course we've got Abate at Decilio Kevin Constant Didac at present and uh, hopefully add to that Marcel Janssen but this is the opening game of the Serie A season we're away at Livorno of course in yesterday's episode we were able to win the Super Coppa against Juventus if you missed it feel free to check it out there'll be a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your picture to take you to that video but Ben Yat breaks away just 11 minutes 12 minutes into the game and on his competitive debut although I guess perhaps the Super Coppa was his competitive debut but on his Serie A debut then we'll go with that Benya is able to pick up a goal and give us a 1-0 lead early on. So we get a great start to this one. El Shirawi is trying to pick up the pieces on the free kick that just got knocked outside of the box. De Silo breaks in. He's going to try and stand it up for someone to head in. It gets flicked on. Drops to, uh, drops to Balotelli. And it's Benya again with a great strike. I really do love playing with Benya. He's got such a rocket shot on him. He's so good. Really do enjoy playing with him at centre mid. And unfortunately, he wasn't quite able to pick up his second there. But Pedro is going to be involved. Of course, scored the winner yesterday. This time, hits the top of the bar. And unfortunately, the ball goes over the top rather than underneath the bar and into the goal and he isn't able to pick up his second goal for the club but Honda's involved here we're still not done for the first half we're still not done for the opening 25 minutes Balotelli takes it into his stride perfectly lovely turn and even better scoop turn to take it around the defender and he comfortably and easily finds the back of the net to give us a 2-0 lead in the 25th minute. That was a gorgeous scoop turn. The turn just to take it in as his first touch was good enough. But to then scoop turn it around the defender as well and find a finish on the end of it is just absolutely next level. I'm so glad we decided to keep him in at the club. Pedro trying to, uh, to work the ball across to Balotelli again to pick up his second of the game. Not quite able to do so and the ball is cleared. So we go in at half time with a 2-0 lead. Comfortable in these opening stages of this opening game in Serie A. Of course we were very very strong last year finishing second in the league overall. And with the uh, the additions we've made to the squad, you'd expect us to be just as comfortable this year and or even better. But Livorno were going to come at us at the, the, uh, the start of the second half. And it was only a smart save from Guita and unfortunately a uh, poor touch from Paulinho that actually led us to be able to uh, to keep our 2-0 lead intact. And Jack Julian Draxler is coming onto the pitch just after the hour mark, along with Nocerino, of course, coming in back on loan from West Ham. Back from on loan at West Ham. Julian Draxler was going to be involved straight away here. Unfortunately, the ball, the ball that was initially meant 
going for him, doesn't find him, but Pedro puts the tackle in, Draxig picks the ball up, he's got a five-star weak foot, and that five-star weak foot finds the back of the net. He's been on the pitch ten minutes after making his debut for the club, and he finds the goal to give us a 3-0 lead in this one, and pretty much wrap up the entire game. Now, he's got four-star skills and five-star weak foot, Julian Draxler, and he's just an absolutely fantastic player. And if that is anything to come, or if that shows anything to come for the rest of the season, we are going to have one hell of a fantastic year here at AC Milan for this second season. But as you can see, Marcel Janssen has had the contract offer accepted. He's going to come in as we rather unsurprisingly decline the uh, international manager's job for Peru. I, uh, I'm not going to be taking any international manager's job, especially jobs of, uh, of that particular uh, calibre. But we get a massive offer in for uh, Stefan El Sharawi, but it's not it's going to take an offer of 40 million plus for me to even consider selling El Shah now and uh, he definitely staying at the club but as you can see we into the the, uh, the transfer deadline day Wilfred Boney has made the first big money move of the transfer window that hasn't been made by us going from Swansea to Spurs I know it's a bit dark there you can't quite see it on the screen but that was the Spurs logo and we get a big offer in from Inter for Giovanni Dos Santos it's a lot higher than uh, than his value is a uh, actually put by the board even by the yeah even by the board the board value him 11.9 to 14 million and they come in with 15 even though his card value is nine and a half million pounds so uh, that was an interesting decision to have to make but we did uh, we did reject it in the end but we're going to have a quick look at some of the transfer deals that go through on deadline day because a couple of them are absolutely huge as you can see Luis Suarez has gone from Barcelona to Bayern Munich for 34 million pounds that's absolutely huge in the world of, uh, of football obviously moved from Liverpool to Barcelona last season now was moved from Barcelona on to Bayern Munich. So a Barca with two big departures. Pedro coming to us. Luis Suarez going on to them. But they've made a signing themselves. Eric Lamella has come into the club from Spurs for £29 million. That's a lot of money. And as you can see, Spurs replaced, or not Spurs, um, Schalke replacing Julian Draxler with Roberto Soldado for £14.5 million from Tottenham. So £181 million was spent all told on uh, transfer deadline day or in that particular window. So it was a massive, massive window. And a lot of money spent, a lot of players going to and from different clubs. But... I think we're pretty much set for our entire season. Now, we may spend some money that we get for performing in the Champions League in the January transfer window if we need to make the odd signing here or there. But hopefully, we should be set quite well for the for the rest of the year. But we're playing in this second game here. Brescia, a team that came up from Serie Bay last year, and they're actually going to take the lead. I'm playing a, a rotation side in this one, just because, I, to be honest... I, I didn't expect much from Brescia, so I put out a week aside trying to give a few players that won't see a lot of first team football this season a quick game or two. And uh, we actually pick up a penalty here just 10 minutes in. It's poor technique from their defender, goes up, hits him on the fingertips. It is a penalty for handball. Fortunately, Balotelli, a regular penalty taker, isn't on the pitch. But Adam Yeich, with a rating of 78, does have the best pens of every player on the pitch. And he does willingly put the ball into the back of the net to bring us back on level terms of 1 1 after just 10 minutes. We have to push on to the half an hour for the next chance to come though and it comes from another corner again Lotorino is going to have his uh, his first chance actually blocked after Caceres finds it back to him eventually via Zapata and Lacazette it's going to come to uh, to Nocerino on the edge of the box eventually here we go through uh, through a few centre backs gets knocked off the ball but very very strong from him there to shrug off the second challenge from the defender and then find the back of the net so we find ourselves 2-1 up now against Brescia but they came back at me just a few minutes after that they're dancing into the box lovely uh, feet from Corva and draws a good save from the goalkeeper but they keep the ball in play Scalia here twisting and turning and eventually the ball just somehow squeezes over the line and they find themselves bringing it back to 2-2 before half time we went, we went in at the break at 2-2 but Nocerino is making the difference in midfield again breaking away he's got so much time and space to square the ball to Alexander Lacazette who willingly again finds the back of the net and we take a 3-2 lead in the 57th minute not the sort of game that I expected from Brescia there and if you go back and have a quick look at Lacazette celebrating that he almost gets reeled in like some sort on some sort of like elastic cord to come and celebrate he just gets flying or just comes flying back towards the man to celebrate with him but Julian Draxler brings that out of the air absolutely perfectly finds his second goal for the club in just his second game. I cannot underestimate how excited I really am to uh, to have Julian Jackson at the club and to have him progressing as a player with us this season. He's going to be so good for us.
well, hopefully we can have a really, really successful year. But uh, we're going to get played through here. It's Alexander Lacazette again. He's got a man free on the far side. He could use him. Decides not to. Takes it on alone. And in the 70th minute, we make it 5-2. And that is most definitely game over. But we're freshening things up just a little bit to, uh, to give a couple of extra players so a rest. Julian Draxler and Lacazette. More so than anyone else. Bring on Balotelli and Honda. And uh, we still weren't done for the scoring. The scoring rather. Matt Janssen. Or is it Matt Janssen? No, it's Marcel Janssen. What am I even talking about? Marcel Janssen whips the ball in. Balotelli goes up with a header. And he's going to make it 6-2. And that is how the game is going to end. So, unfortunately, Brescia in the first half were able to match us toe-for-toe uh, -toe for chances and goals. But in the second half, we were just too strong. And we ran out 6-2 winners. So as you'll be able to see on your screen in just a second, that is going to leave us top of the league, rather unsurprisingly, with a goal difference of seven after just two games. So we've got a lot yet to do, left to do, rather, in, uh, in the Serie A season so far. But you can't get a much better start than that. Very, very pleased with how things are going so far. So that's going to bring today's episode to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. There was an episode of this up yesterday. You'll have an annotation on screen at the bottom left-hand side uh, right now. But in just a second, you'll have the end slate on screen. So there'll be an annotation on the right-hand side to take you to yesterday's video. Of course, if you want to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any content here on the channel, you've got this series. There's a My Player episode up uploaded last night as well. There's that series running on four times a week. Also got the World Cup sticker book, which will be coming to you tonight as well. Not really too sure whether I'm going to do any team of the season stuff for Ultimate Team. I think I'm just going to shy away from Ultimate Team for at least the rest of FIFA 14. So it probably won't be any Ultimate Team or team of the season stuff from me. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Feel free to follow me on Twitter as well. There's a link in the description and you can see the Twitter handle on your screen right now. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.